He's like, you know those like, those like, clown puppets on like, springs? Holy sh**! How much fruit does this guy have? Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back for a first look or day one review of Monster Hunter Rise on the Nintendo Switch. Now, uh, I have been a Monster Hunter player and Monster Hunter lover since uh, I think Monster Hunter 3 or Freedom I think it was on the PSP and all the way through I've absolutely adored the game. Uh, all the way up until Monster Hunter World, played a ton of that, but something felt a little bit off, uh, not as, you know, nostalgic as the original games themselves. And let me tell you, right off the bat, Monster Hunter Rise itches that scratch. It's the perfect uh, kind of middleman between the new quality of life that Monster Hunter World has brought to the franchise and the old nostalgic uh, kind of, I guess, less uh, graphically intensive but still beautiful kind of aesthetic of Monster Hunter. Uh, so basically, as we can see here, I'm in the hub village and uh, my, right now my character, I've, I've only leveled to, well, I, I guess got quest to around about uh, quest village progress uh, monster rank 4, or hero rank 4 as you would call it, uh, and uh, I thought that I'd start the video right on top of uh, the big guild hall or a big building here because, yes, this is something that you can do in this game. You can use your wire bug to traverse uh, just absolutely everywhere, and even in the hub town, I've absolutely loved that you're able to do so. But now we're on the uh, home ground here, and I'm just going to talk about a few things that I've really, really enjoyed. So first of all, there's already been, at this point, uh, I've only done maybe about like 10 or 12 main story missions or, or village missions, and there's already been about three or four new monsters that I've battled. I'm actually going to include one of those monsters, the Bishatan, at the end of this video, the full hunt for that one, because it's the best monster that I've come across yet. Really, really fun. You can kind of think of it between like a, uh, a bird, a parrot, and a monkey uh, type of thing, uh, which is super, super awesome. The aesthetic of this game uh, is absolutely beautiful. It's taking a lot of uh, kind of aesthetics from uh, Japanese mythology and, and the monsters or uh, kind of spirits that uh, are found in that mythology. And obviously the uh, art design and everything like that is just straight taken out of that as well. Another big thing about this game is you do have a dog, a Palamute. Uh, you can actually climb aboard this dog, and I can do this in the hometown as well, and you can ride. So basically, this is like having a mount in Monster Hunter, something we haven't really had before uh, in, in a full sense. So you can have uh, one of your Palicos, which I've named Fingers, and then we can also have uh, a Malamute named Toes, and like all other, well, most other games as well, you can have a bunch of other buddies uh, that you can, you know, select between and everything like that. Uh, and you can change their skills, you can change their gear. As you can see here, I've got some pretty interesting gear on this guy here from basically the big, almost frog-like, frog, crocodile, platypus-like monster. Uh, and so he's got a bit of armor on there as well. Now the gameplay itself is just your very traditional Monster Hunter. I absolutely love it. Uh, there's still most of the same combos that you were experiencing in Monster Hunter World and a lot of the same quality of life aspects that you're getting as well. Uh, but another big thing that they've added into this game is uh, something called the ramp up on your weapons. You can set rampage skills on weapons. So say for example, I'm going to take this fighter sword that I've just crafted here. And we can see here that there is one rampage slot on this, uh, on, on this weapon here. And we can choose between a couple of rampage skills that we can put onto this. So I can choose between an affinity boost or an attack boost or a defense boost. Because I'm in the early game, you know, attack's all I really want. I'm just gonna zoom right on there and put that attack boost into that rampage slot there. Uh, and then there are some other things uh, that are more focused around the actual gameplay itself of uh, you know, changing up the gameplay of your character. So if I think if I go to my room here, I'll go to my room and I can go and talk to my housekeeper. Is it in the housekeeper? No, it is not. It might be in my box here. I can't quite remember here. Uh, yes, in your item box, you can change your switch skill. So your switch skill is something that you can equip uh, through all of your weapons. Kind of think of it like the styles, but not as uh, game changing as the styles in uh, like Generations or, or Double X. Uh, Monster Hunter Double X Generations. So the uh, traditional one that you would have is Advancing Slash here. 
uh, but I've been playing with Sliding Slash. I'm actually going to change back to Advancing Slash here because Sliding Slash wasn't the greatest there. However, all weapons can have uh, lots of different uh, abilities like that, and you unlock more as you go through the game. So as I said, I'm very much at the beginning of the game here, but things are looking really, really great. So that's how all of that is looking. As I said, I'm gonna include some gameplay at the end here of the uh, Bishartan fight, so you can see how the game actually plays. Uh, but uh, that's all I really have to say for a day one review. Uh, I really think that this is a very strong contender in the Monster Hunter series. Uh, unlike the Generations port or the Double X port that came to uh, Switch uh, from the 3DS games, this is a fully fledged Switch game itself. So, you know, not as graphically intensive or the worlds aren't as impressive as in Monster Hunter World, uh, all of the zones, but there's still flawless transition between uh, zones. Uh, there's still very, very great travel. Uh, as you can see, the verticality of the travel here is absolutely amazing. We can jump up as high like this and, uh, and, and uh, have a look around. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep playing this game. If you want to come watch live at Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. There is a link down below. We're maining Sword and Shield here. I absolutely love Sword and Shield, but we might be trying out some other weapons as well along the way. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to include that fight at the end here, so enjoy that. If uh, you're going to click away from this, just remember to hit that sub button right before you do. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Until next time, Badger out. Just Monster Hunter? Oh, nice. Do you get a biome they usually be used in yet? Yes. There's been ice and desert biomes so far. Oh, look at this thing. It's a monkey bird. It is a monkey bird. It's a monkey. <laughs> Oh fuck, Bishatan. This guy's uh... I reckon this guy's armor and weapons would be really cool though. I might farm this one. We'll see. Chicken ape. <laughs> yep. Gonna guess airborne? I don't think he's gonna be airborne, but he's gonna be very mobile. I hope there is an actual badger monster in this game. There is. We've already fought it. It's kind of like a bear, but no, it's it's mostly a badger. Yeah. The skill airborne? Oh, gotcha. Skill. Sorry. Any meh? Uh, I don't know if he'll have airborne. gonna roar? Yep. He's a roarer. Pulls out different types of fruit. That's kind of cool. It's a cool, cool, uh, a cool monster. I like it. Very mobile, as I thought. Cease. Ow. Monster using the inventory system, yep. That didn't quite work, did it? Oh shit.
What the fuck? This is a kung fu monkey bird. This is a kung fu monkey bird, dude. I really don't like this um this uh, combat style that I've got of the slice up jump. It really screws up the rest of my combos that I like to do. Ah, uh, Zenoga. Oh, Toby, Toby uh, Kadachi. Yeah, sorry. Is Zenoga in um in World? I spawn? Yeah, okay. Ouch. Keep forgetting about the radial menu. Fuck. Reminds you of Toby? Good old Toby. Holy shit! What the fuck was that move? He's a really cool monster. Uh, Kalumu, put you to sleep? Yeah, correct. Oh shit! Oh good, he just went angry. So he roared me out of that. He's like a fucking, you know those like, those like, clown puppets on like springs? Holy shit! How much fruit does this guy have? I can pick up the fruit. It's like, it, they're, they're like potions. I can use them as potions. That's freaking awesome, dude. This, this enemy is so cool. Oh! So if I, I go to my inventory and I have a look at the Jumbo Fruit, it heals for a significant amount as well. Oh fuck, he hit me. Gotta use dung bombs to prevent him from healing. Yes. Like Kong. Um, I don't think he heals himself. You can just pick up his fruit to use it to heal yourself. To heal you. I think. Oh shit. He's using a tunnel. I can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Oh, 
I'll race him. Go, doggy, go! Heck yes. Um, can I scale that? Uh, I'm gonna go around. I'll go around. Hmm. Probably scale over this now. Let's, let's go this way. Oh shit, I haven't used one of these yet. Let's go. Fuck. Oh, so awesome. mushroom. You can prevent it with a dung bomb. Yeah, 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 I do know that. Uh, I think this poison fruit will heal me from poison as well then if I use it. Nope. Oh, you, I, you throw it to poison the end. Oh, <laughs> I can throw it back at him. I get that's pretty fun. Oh, no, no. He did just use a healing thing. Yeah, he had a healing fruit. You're right. Probably have to use dung bombs or something or just interrupt him when he's trying to use it. Could be it. Poison fruit. Flash fruit. Oh shit. Now she's. Very, very cool enemy. <laughs> Love how they do that. Come on, where's my where's my doggo? No, I don't have uh, access to Trank Bombs yet, He hulk Well, I, I do, but I just haven't gathered material yet, so I'm just gonna, just gonna kill. like this layout. It's a bit cleaner, isn't it? Just because it's 16 by 9 and not the um, 21 by 9 that I usually have. Wait. Oh, shit. That's the wrong... <laughs> that's the wrong enemy. See you later. Wait. He's back sleep. Oh, my goodness. I just went the wrong way. Fuck. <laughs> I went the wrong way, dude. Trapping gets you better quality loot. Yeah, you usually do end up in most cases with more loot, just not as good quality. How good is this doggo? You guys ready for the doggo? You ready? You ready? Let's go, doggo.
Wait, what? How did you wake up? Did they wake up from just noise? I didn't hit him. What? Finish sleeping? That was a very quick sleep if he did just finish sleeping. Extremely quick. I've never seen an enemy in Monster Hunter sleep that quickly. Come on. He does fly, I knew it. Doink! <laughs> this bullfanger is just sleeping there. He's still, still chilling. <laughs> the warthogs, the bullfangers, yeah, dude. They are the worst. Those charging bastards. He's so close to being dead, dude. Just keeps being such a bitch. Come on, up we go. Up we go, doggy. Full drones, yeah. There we go. One second. Uh, taking a sweet time eating that fruit, yep. Having a good little chew. My final meal in peace, please. Please. Atmospheres. 